What is up guys, hope you're all good. I got this video idea from a comment which basically asked how to make kind of dark sounding melodies using pianos and electric guitars and stuff like that. And I thought I've got a song that I did just that. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I made it and what kind of effect I put on the piano because it was a pretty bad recording and I had to make it better obviously. And I did that with some stock plugins and logic so you guys should be able to do that easily too. But also hopefully you saw my Instagram story if you follow me on Instagram a couple of days ago where I asked about if I did a flip the sample challenge, will you guys be interested in it? And I think I got a pretty good response. So that's gonna come into the video later. Let's get into it. guys might have heard the song already, I think I might have put it out like six months ago or something. It starts off with all these filters and I put some automation on it, all that, you know, starts going, stuff like this. Over here, I've obviously layered everything, but then it breaks down into just this piano and it kind of goes... Let me expand it. So this recorded on the actual piano, I didn't play it, and one of my friends played it in. Because I obviously make chords on the MIDI and stuff, because I can't play proper piano. I wanted to make it, again, sound kind of old and dark, and obviously the key is in C minor, so that's pretty dark, because minor is generally kind of sad, and major's happy and bright and all that. Let me take everything off apart from the gain, so you can hear what it sounds like. So you can hear some, you know, performance issues in there. I mean, I think that gives it more character, like we've got some, it's slightly off time a bit, and we got some clicks in there from the pedals and everything, so I think it's around here. First of all, I put this EQ in, take off some of the lows, because otherwise it would sound muddy, bit of resonance around here, and then I want to take all the air out so it doesn't sound too kind of bright, but I boost the highs here just to give it that presence. Then I put some reverb on it and cut out the lows, because reverb on lows obviously sounds terrible. I only put a little bit in there, but the distance is quite, quite high. Makes it sound a bit more, I don't know, well, just see what you think. Makes it sound a bit less flat. Stereo delay, I just put a tiny bit on. You know, it just gives a nice stereo effect, so obviously this recorded in mono. So here you can see that the stereo there playing different channels, but if I turn it off, they're going to be exactly the same. That's mono there. And then here's where I think to make it sound like really old and that really came in. I used the chorus, set it to 30 and a rather slow kind of rate, but kind of medium intensity. Put some kind of wow and flutter like if it was a tape machine, but I think I've overdone it a bit, but it kind of works with the track, so I kept it. So if I took the chorus off, it would also sound a bit flat. That was the piano, and I've also set up this thing down here. Basically, if you put on some delay, set it quite low, kind of layers it up, makes it sound more. We we'll just play some chords. If I took everything off, like the compression, the tape delay, and then also this reverb here, it sounds just kind of flat and not very exciting, I guess. But back to the guitar, I've obviously got these kind of single notes going in, but the guitar, check it out and see what you think. I think the thing that's really cool here is I've just kept this note going along. What is it, like a G? And I've just gone all the way down with the pitch really slowly with the whip. And it just adds a bit more character into it, and because it's quite distorted, it goes to that whole old, dark vibe kind of thing. So that's kind of how to make stuff sound old, and also get some real drums in there as well. So here on my drums, I've got all these, nothing from the 808, stuff like that. See, the kick's just really flat. 
I've also hard panned the shaker and the hi hat to create some variation. So you know, maybe for a bar you could listen to this here, another there. South African voice effects thing just coming in every once in a while, doing a kind of long droning note, hold tension. It just holds that for like six bars. So that's kind of how you make anything sound old. Melodies and stuff really depends on how good you are at thinking of them. Obviously that one I just kind of followed the chords. But this is where the sample pack comes in because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some melodies after this. I'm going to give you the audio file and the MIDI. You can download them, make a beat maybe, should we say, next Tuesday, send them back to me. Hopefully I can show them in the video if the winner gets some exclusive drum sounds. So I'll get making the melodies, download the pack, start thinking what beat you're going to make and then send it back to me. I'll link my email down in the description so that you can, you know, submit them and I'll give them a listen, rate them maybe. But yeah, hope you found this interesting. Hope it gave you some ideas for kind of piano and guitar things you can do and also the drums you can layer. If you haven't already, obviously subscribed. As I said in all of my other videos, you just don't want to miss any. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.